A 17-year-old Dutch girl reportedly used euthanasia to end her life because she had PTSD from being sexually abused as a child. This is Noah. She was raped at 11 and again at 14. Since then, she'd been dealing with depression and anorexia. Her sister confirmed that she died Sunday in her home, but it is unclear if she passed away because she refused to eat and drink or if doctors played a role. Assisted suicide is legal in the Netherlands. Even children as young as 12 may request end-of-life services but require a parent's consent. A very narrow window allows for a doctor to give someone end-of-life drugs. Erica, what do you think about I having a minor? I am so, so heartbroken mm -hmm. by the story because I understand what it's like to relive a day of your life and think that if this day never happened, then my entire life would be different. And generally, you say that it's going to be different for the better, but people have to understand regardless of what has happened to you in this life, there is always a path to get over. Um, this story scares me because I can see people folding to the pressure, feeling like I can't get past this incident, I can't get past this, this day. But it's so important that we say this, that you can get past it. Um, I just, um, I just watched this thing, uh, it's a book called The Tethered Soul. And it's the idea of like, removing or letting a feeling just pass by you. And oftentimes I visualize moving back and allowing the feeling to just pass because if you can get to that place, it's such a healthier place to be. And I get it, I completely understand. That's why I'm heartbroken about this girl because you think nothing that I did actually made this act happen. This is something that happened to me but you can advocate for yourself and there's life after this. So please, if you're feeling this way, please get some help because people understand you. I understand you, but it's going to be okay. That's well said, Erica. So, so given everything that you just said, you can't support euthanasia at this young of an age, can you? No. So why do you think that they no, allow this? I don't know. At such a young I don't age. Know. At 17 I think years old, you're able to give that consent to do that. At 17 years old, you need tools to help you help yourself right. navigate through this life. So Not do you think the that they should, they should yourself. ban this? E Erica, I do. She, she was raped at 11 and 14. Like, do, do you feel as though she just felt like she just couldn't go on anymore? Do you feel like she's had help? Like I don't past, I can't maybe? speak for her. Yeah. I can speak for myself and say that until recently I felt like I was one of the only ones. Like things were happening to me because I was somehow cursed. So I get that because people don't talk about it. And you're not cursed, you're just a person who's experiencing things good and bad in this life. And everyone has that. You're not alone and you're not the one who was chosen for this unfortunate thing. You have to figure out a way or figure out why this happened to you and build yourself from this, from this point forward, because there is a greater life for you and maybe you can testimony teach to other people. So I just want people to be really clear about what this is because um, we just can't spend our entire life thinking about the day that our life fell apart. Wow, powerful, Erica. Um, cool. I know that we have some resources. Can we put them up considering everything that we just talked about? Here's some free crisis hotline numbers. Please, if anybody out there is considering suicide uh, or if you're, if you're uh, recovering from any sort of trauma, um, please reach out, get some help, and, um, and just know that you're not alone, as Erica Cobb just so eloquently said. We'll be right back.